Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you some activity ideas you could do with children after reading the book Magical Play-Doh. So the first activity that's actually in the storybook is creating the Play-Doh. So I know a lot of nurseries and parents have ready-made Play-Doh or readily made as the kids walk in, they see the Play-Doh and they play with it. But there's so much learning potential in making the Play-Doh from scratch. Another benefit of making your own Play-Doh is you can add any scent you want, any colour and you could also add bits of leaves or herbs or whatever spices you want. Another activity idea is making creatures or insects with the Play-Doh. Here are some ideas on how you could do that. Just get some pipe cleaners and some googly eyes and you can make little creatures. This activity idea from the book is placing sticks on Play-Doh. You can place coloured sticks on Play-Doh. This activity is great for hand-eye coordination. The child can place sticks and straws on the Play-Doh. You can do a shape cutting activity. They can use rollers, use shape cutters and use lots of different cutting tools. The last activity idea I'm going to give you that's in the storybook is exploring colour and colour changing. So here's one way to do it, use markers on Play-Doh. Use it as an opportunity to learn about the colour wheel. Our children love to do that, add little bits of different coloured Play-Doh together. Or add the colour this way, instead of putting it in the mixture, add it once the dough is done. Another way to explore colour.